Brought to you by Lightspeed Aviation. Zulu 2 once again sets the standard. And by Philip 66, the most trusted wings in aviation. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from EAA Air Venture at Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Behind me is a kit box, and what's unusual about this airplane is it has a new engine from Lycoming, an O233, which is an engine that Lycoming has developed for the light sport market. Now here's Mike Kraft of Lycoming to tell us about the marketing and technical aspects of this engine. This engine concept actually started with a group of our engineers who were building some kit aircraft. And when they took a look at the Lycoming portfolio, the O235 was, was too heavy. Um, it didn't have some of the features that they would like. I mean, these guys are familiar with the experimental features in the market. So we literally sat down in one of the engineers' garages one evening and over pizza and some drinks actually came up with some of the basics of it. And that kind of started the concept here in the light sport aircraft engine where we envisioned the electronic spark ignition and where we could take out significant elements away from the engine. So it, it really started out as an engineering project, uh, gained momentum, and then we really found within the marketplace that there really was a, a demand for a like homing engine in this uh, power class and weight class with some added features onto it. Once again, staying very basic, very simple. Uh, it's an electronic spark ignition, but it's also self-generating its power. I mean, if you lose ship's power, the engine will continue to operate just like you had in Magneto's. Very simple, straightforward in the first introduction, you know, vertical carbureted engine. Uh, once again, keep the cost down, keep it simple. Uh, other features we included was uh, hydraulic tappet lifters, you know, so we eliminate the mechanical adjustment they had on the rocker arm. So it really started as an engineering project, very simple, cost-oriented, and the market reaction has been really great. Is it seems to be a gap that we were trying to fill here. Uh, very good response from the marketplace on what we've come up with. There's a variety of aircraft that have been announced. Uh, certainly there's Kit Fox Supersport above. There's the Renegade aircraft platform on it. Uh, you'd mentioned the other platform at Friedrichshafen. Uh, there was an announcement by Technam on it. Uh, Brumby Aircraft of Australia. There's a variety of OEMs that we're working with today on integrating the engine. It's largely up to them to announce when they're ready to put it forward. But the, I would say is that we've been, uh, quite frankly, very extremely pleased by the response that we've gotten on the unit. Uh, very strong demand from the OEM side. Uh, in fact, very kind of difficult to keep up with some of the, uh, the overall requests on it. It's very hard to beat the uh, simplicity and lightweight nature of a carburetor. So the vertical updraft carburetor on this engine was quite simply the lightest weight, least expensive solution for that. The electronic spark ignition was also a very critical part of our weight reduction program on the engine. It also long term should prove to be much less of a an ongoing maintenance type issue versus the Magneto. So primarily a lot of the technology was driven by late weight. Uh, a lot of technology was driven by less expense. Uh, the electronic spark ignition gets us some um, added benefits of easier starting. There's actually two timing settings with the electronic spark ignition, one for start, the other for actual running of the engine. Uh, once again, kept it very simple. It's, a, it's not a software intensive solution like what we have in the IE2. It's uh, designed to be, let me say, simple, robust, easy to maintain.